Hey gang, we're back, and we have some Mornfang Cav, as I make you throw up because I can't move my phone. Okay, so we finished these up finally. This is a commission for Joe. The second time I've done Mornfang Cav, and I gotta say, there is a lot more detail on these guys than anybody gives it credit for. This was about maybe three weeks, three weeks worth of work. Doing little bits here or there. He's using them for Age of Sigmar, for Beast Claw Raiders, going with kind of a uh, snowy theme. You can see on the base there, I got some uh, Valhalla and, uh, snow from Games Workshop. You want to see on some of these weapons too, we put, put a, uh, I put a new camera to focus. I put a uh, frost effect on them that you will see at some point when this camera is not being retarded. Let's see. All right, new plan. That guy's going there. This guy's going here, and we're doing this. All right, wait. Come on. Come on. And you're off the Christmas list. Okay. So, I think we can see it enough there. I'm going to be putting stills on the Facebook page and on the website. So, we'll be able to see these. But I wanted to thank Joe for giving me the opportunity to paint these. These were a lot of fun. Let's see. And, uh, be shipping them back today. So, in the, any case, if you guys cannot get me your models via, you know, me coming by or dropping off, you can always mail them to me as well. Do some, uh, let's see here. Yeah, everything was built, so that helped out a whole bunch. Ooh, there, there we go. There's a good. I have another uh, professional camera I'm still in the process of setting up, but I wanted to give these little update videos. I think it's good too because. Uh, you know, as clients, friends, everybody in the hobby, you get to kind of see, you know, your your work kind of come to life. I'm, uh, I know I'm always excited when uh, I get a whole ton of stuff. So we'll show you what, what I'm working on next. So we have lots of troll bloods for War Machine and Hordes. We've got, let's see, uh, Dozer and Smeeg. This is a really cool... Heavy War Beast kit, and this guy will be a lot of fun. We've got little blisters in here. I think there's uh, this is what Captain Gun Buren. He's like a troll who joined the Signar Corps. He's got a big rocket launcher. He's cool. This is the Bushwhackers, and then we've got some troll whelps and the Sons of Bragg. And then over here, we're going to show these in a, a different video. We are going to do an underwater themed Iron Warriors army. That's going to be really cool. That is for Andrew. And then also for Andrew, we've got this big guy, the Mountain King. Probably, I want to say, one of the only Horde's Gargantuans that I wanted to paint. So when we get to him, we'll be building him up. And then over here, who, this man is completely indestructible. He survived a car crash. Friends of Andrew know what happened, but he's, he's in a good place now. Andrew and the Glacier King. This is the Glacier King. We've got some little green stuff gapping fixed up there. This model's awesome. This is going to be really fun to do. He is going to be standing on a giant iceberg on the base. We're going to do him up something fierce. So that'll be some little, little projects to come, little videos. Other than that, coming soon, I will be putting up about 50... Um, mixed ogre bulls, uh, iron guts, uh, different characters there for a friend of mine, Mike, who is using them for Kings of War. So that will be a really cool army. He is also the person who has the two giants. So the two giants got finished up. We're going to put up a video just going over the two of those because those things are immense in themselves. They will take up a, an entire video. And then we will be going over uh, Primarchs that I finished up as well. So this is kind of a little update video for Joe, preview of stuff to come, and then 
talking a bit, little bit about what is going to be the next video after this. So I'm probably going to put up about three or four right after this one. Just bang, bang, bang. So you guys can watch some stuff and enjoy some content. But uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Again, I check my phone all the time. It's glued to my hip and other parts of my body. So anytime you need questions or whatnot about painting, you want to get quotes, you want to just say, hey, they look good, you know, feel free. And uh, it definitely helps the channel if you uh, subscribe. We're trying to hit that magic number of 1,000. We just started uh, about a month ago, so we're, we're moving along gingerly. But uh, yeah, I will be back with some new projects, and happy painting.